Hello, I'm Walter Tejada, the 2008 Chairman of the Arlington County Board and resident of the West Arlington neighborhood of Dominion Hills. Thanks for joining me on this video of Walkabout. I have lived in Dominion Hills since 1992 and along with my neighbors, we helped put together this Walkabout for you. Looking around present-day Dominion Hills, it is hard to imagine the endless acres of forest of only a few hundred years ago. First settled by Native American tribes, it was colonized by English settlers in the 1600s. The area remained rural from the Civil War through the early 1900s and was known as the country part of the county for generations. Railroads, trolleys, and roads brought developers looking to establish new subdivisions along transportation lines. During World War II, rapid population growth, an expanding federal workforce, and increasing availability of automobiles made this area prime for residential development. Enter Merwin A. John Mays of Mays Properties. Mays bought land here in 1945 and named it Dominion Hills. By 1951, he had built 420 homes. Today's Dominion Hills boasts 612 single-family homes, two commercial buildings, and access to some of the county's most popular recreational facilities. Our first walkabout stop is right here in Mays Park, which gets its name from the Dominion Hills developer, John Mays. Back in the early days of Dominion Hills development, Mays loaned the residents, many of whom had young children, two pieces of land for recreational purposes. One was later developed, the other is now Mays Park. Now, let's begin walking up Liberty Street to stop number two at 930 North Liberty. As we make our way through some of the neighborhood's 18 residential blocks, you'll notice that just about all 612 houses are of three basic styles. Two-story old brick colonials, one-story brick ramblers, and split levels. Wondering why this is a stop? Actors Warren Beatty and Shirley MacLaine grew up here, adding celebrity sparkle to our neighborhood. From Liberty Street, we turn on 9th Street to Larimore. And cross at the Wilson Boulevard crosswalk to enter the Dominion Hills Area Recreation Association. Looking down from here, you can see why, in the early days of Wilson Boulevard, the street had a jag that allowed travelers to avoid the steep climb. The former site of the Reeves Dairy Farm lies just beyond Ashland, in what today is Luman Park. When we crossed Wilson Boulevard, we actually left the Median Hills and are now in the neighborhood known as Boulevard Manor. Be that as it may, we're still standing on the property of the Dominion Hills Area Recreation Association, which serves several surrounding neighborhoods. Known as the Powhatan Springs State, this historic building dates to the turn of the 20th century and had originally been a roadhouse. Guests could take meals and then spend the night in the second story sleeping lofts on each side of the great room. Luncheons, teas, and dinners were offered daily from noon until 8.30 p.m. The lodge could also be reserved for special occasions. During Prohibition, the building reportedly was used as a speakeasy and was rumored to shelter a house of ill repute and a dance hall before being purchased as a family residence. The Minion Hills residents established the Recreation Association in 1954 and purchased this Tudor-style building, which now serves as the clubhouse in 1955. The association built a community pool that opened in 1956 and has become a neighborhood institution over the years. Before the development of Dominion Hills, this neighborhood was known as Powhatan Springs. This 2004 recreational facility is no different, taking its name from the springs that flow below and behind the skate park.
The Five Acre Holiday Springs Skate Park opened in 2004 and includes a 12,800 foot skate park for both skateboarding and inline skating. An interactive nature area where fun activities in man-made wetlands help children learn about water flow, collection, and purification. A junior size soccer and lacrosse field for children under 10. Let's cross Wilson Boulevard to the Minion Hill Center, stop five. In 1967, the Minion Hill Center made headlines when American Nazi party leader George Lincoln Rockwell was shot in the parking lot of the shopping center. At that time, Rockwell's Nazi party barracks was located across the street at 6150 Wilson Boulevard. On August 25 of that year, Rockwell was doing his laundry at the Econo Wash laundromat in the Dominion Hill Center and was heading to his car to get some bleach when he was shot from the roof of the shopping center by a former party officer who bore him a grudge. Although the American Nazi party did not disappear entirely after the murder, it began to fade away by the 1970s. Today, the site of the former barracks has been put to a much more positive use, Sapton Hill Regional Park, our next stop. Operated by the Northern Virginia Regional Parks Association, Upton Hill Park offers seasonal facilities, including an outdoor swimming pool, state-of-the-art water park features, a deluxe miniature golf course, batting cages, and a rental picnic shelter. Urban woodlands crisscrossed by a network of walking trails. Year-round facilities, including a playground, bocce court, horseshoe pit, and shuffleboard courts. Looking at the park today, it's hard to picture the Union and Confederate soldiers who occupied Upton Hill at different times during the Civil War. Upton Hill afforded views of the countryside for miles around and several roads intersected near its base, making it strategically important during wartime and earning it the nickname Spy Hill. So we're now at 6407 Wilson Boulevard. This is the oldest house in Dominion Hills, otherwise known as the Fevery Lothrop House. In the mid-1800s, Nicholas Fevery purchased a large tract of land from Rebecca Upton of Upton's Hill after Mr. Febri died in 1893, Alvin Lothrop of the Woodward and Lothrop Company acquired the property, adding the shingle facade and balcony porches around 1900. The Lothrop family used the property as a farm and summer retreat and kept it in the family until 1950. At one point in the 1950s, actress Audrey Meadows, best known for her role as Alice Cramden on The Honeymooners, lived in the home. The Fevery Lothrop house is currently privately owned and at nine and a half acres remains the largest undeveloped parcel of land in the neighborhood. Now, our journey to the next stop takes us through the longest uninterrupted part of our walkabout route. It is all downhill from here. The Minion Hills residents enjoy ready access to a variety of multi-use trails. Close from where we're standing, the Washington and Old Dominion and Four Mile Run trails intersect. Let's check it out. Vamos! You know, this stop along Four Mile Run is a really good place to ponder the Minion Hills' historic role in regional transportation. Along the northern and eastern edges of today's Dominion Hills ran the WNOD Railroad which began service in 1853. The railroad ended service in 1951. Up the four mile run trail to the grassy area just west of Patrick Henry Drive Bridge takes us to our final stop. Our video walkabout of the Dominion Hills neighborhood ends right here where we started at Mays Park. Thank you for joining us. Now, lace up your walking shoes and come on out to West Arlington and see for yourself.